Yamti, ye ha yamcha. Okay, this week's ye ha yamcha is going to be a little bit different because I have had a super busy week and I have a big weekend which involves flying to Melbourne to go to a wedding of some really awesome friends who I love to bits. So really excited about it, but the preparation to get my ass there is proving to be a little bit tricky. So what am I going to do differently? I guess the key change this week is that instead of doing my video and then going back to my studio and getting all my graphics and all the little translations that I do is basically brainstormed a whole lot of words onto pages which I have here and they're going to guide my conversation today and I'm not going to do any graphics what I've got here that's just going to have to do so a little bit scrappy but I'm a woman of my word and when I say upload weekly I upload weekly know it when you press for time and you need something to talk about and you don't have time for research what do you do you talk about yourself yep In 1974, the year of the tiger, I was born. Yes, and my parents gifted me with the name Fiona. Quite a lovely name. It's Scottish and it means white swan. As all good geeky Chinese students like to do, we want to have a name that's Chinese. So, I conjured up some variations, went to my friends who were much better equipped in the language than I was, and they had a good old laugh. Ha oh, ha 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 ha. That's a stupid name. People are going to laugh at you. Try this one. Check that out. Fina. I think I just wobbled the camera there, sorry. Fina. That's my name. And apparently it means elegant and graceful. How about that? Nobody ever said I was really all that elegant. Hello. Hello. Hi, sweetheart. I'm oh, sorry. No, it's okay. It's a starring role. Wad yayo wugaren. My family's got five people on it. Well, that's my immediate family. The family I was born into. Okay, so we've got my uh, fumu my parents and the formal name for my father would be Fuchin and the formal name for my mother would be Muchin whereas you know just like I don't say hello father I go hey dad hey daddy whatever a more familial term is often deployed by children to show affection towards their parents and in the case of the Chinese, Baba is the most common one for father and Mama is the most common one for mum. So I have two brothers. One is older than me by a couple of years or so and he is uh, my Gege. Ward Gege. My older brother. And I have a twin. And according to my Chinese teacher from a few years ago, because he was born before I was, and by a matter of minutes, he is also what a gege. What the effer? What? No. He is Wada Simon. That's his name. Interesting fact. I just had my uh, DNA done and found out that from the combination of Wada Baba and Wada Mama I am 20% Ying Wen Ren I'm 20% an English person and I am 81 okay I stuffed up my maths there I'm 19% a Ying Wen Ren and I'm 
81% of an I Erlan Wren. I have no idea if I said that properly. I told you, I have not really done a huge amount of research for this episode, but uh, here's something to make up for it. Hang on a second, to prove my Irishness. Are you... <laughs> I don't know if I convinced you. I certainly didn't convince that woman up there who just had a good old stare. He's a look on the Irish. Oi! Family just doesn't stay with the people that you're born with, does it really? No. There's also the people you choose to bring into your life and the people that your siblings choose to bring into your life, as well as your parents' extended relatives, brothers, sisters. It goes on and on and on. Could be here forever. And it could be incredibly difficult if I try to translate all of that into Chinese. Because in Chinese, not only do you have, you know, aunts and uncles as we do, which tends to be a blanket reference, their terms of reference differ according to what side of the family that person is on and also your relationship to that person. Don't have the brain for that. I'm married. I am. I'm married to this awesome human. Her name is Sharon, otherwise called Shazzy. You would have seen her in my other videos. I'm, I'm crazy about her. True story. Moving on to more matters of love. I have three nieces, one nephew. Um, as I said before, way too complicated to figure out the size of the family and the relationship and all of this kind of gear. But I just want to give a shout out to Emily, Elise, Samantha and Ryan. They are, they're just top-notch people. I love them. It's such a nice place to live. It's much calmer than where we used to live when I was about, ooh, about four to six years old. We lived in Indonesia, in Jakarta to be specific. Essentially in that critical period of growth, we were surrounded by essentially like Asian smells like the spices, uh, the close cigarettes even, the energy, the hectic pace. As a result, when I find myself in Vietnam or China or places that have that, I guess, Asian-ness to that, is that wrong to say that? I'm not quite sure, but I just feel an affinity towards it. I feel quite at home. I love traveling around Asian countries and I'm pretty sure that has informed my love of the Chinese language. I think what has also informed my love of the Chinese language is the fact that I am a very visual person. So the language, the characters, the fact that there are stories in each character, there's a history that you can trace back through each character, back thousands of years through to oracle bones. I find that fascinating. So it is overwhelming at times, the many thousands of characters that there are. I can't imagine I'm going to be fluent in the language and I think it's going to be a lifelong journey and it's not that I'm aiming to you know be fluent really because I think that's just going to put pressure on me because it is such a big language to learn and having acquired it at such a late stage in life I would be very comfortable if I could walk down the street and have a basic conversation with someone make a new friend order food and get around China relatively independently without needing too much support if I got to that stage I'd be really proud of myself but it's taking me a bit of a time. But as it is, I'm not watching the clock, really. I think once I stopped watching the clock, then I started to enjoy it more. Okay. I need to go to the toilet. Cheers for Zainali. Where's the toilet? Whoa, 
的鼻子是很红色。My nose is really red. Hey, that would come from hanging out on the beach. A little bit too long without any sunscreen on. I should know better. Anyway, my battery is about to run out. I'm a bit dehydrated, so I've got a bit of a drink to sip on on my way back to the car. Well, Dajia Zajian, goodbye everyone, and have fun. Bye.